Hey guys, Kat here. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video, I've been kind of slack lately. But I have my mate Lachlan here today. Hey. <laughs> He's just started on his pagan path, so I've had him making smudge feather one things. I made one too, it's not as good. <laughs> so it kind of took us a lot longer than we thought, and due to certain technical issues, we don't actually have a video of us making them. Um, probably my fault, mostly. Um, but... We thought we'd just give a quick introduction on how to actually make these, even if we don't have the video anymore. So we pretty much collected a whole heap of duck feathers from down at Romaine Park in Burnie, if you guys know where that is. Um, Lachlan came in at the end, so he only had to collect once, yep. while I'm slaving away collecting for hours, but that's that's fine, we'll, we'll move on from that. Um, and burnt ourselves multiple times on the hot glue gun, uh, hence the reason it's probably a good idea we didn't have the original video not really appropriate language. Um, so, Lachlan, why don't you explain what we did? Well, first of all, as Kat explained, we went and collected duck feathers from the park. You can get them from any park. You know, there's going to be ducks there. Um, got a stick, approximately probably that long as you can see. This long. Yeah, about that. And um, then went down to, uh, what was it, Spotlight, and got uh, some leather. You know, it was like a dollar... 20 per meter or something. It's pretty. It's pretty cheap for it is, and just wrapped it around the stick after we glued on the duck feathers. Just glued them into a fan sort of shape, glued them onto the stick, then bound the stick in leather. A lot harder than it looks, by the way. It takes a lot longer as well. It does. It takes a very long time. What I would suggest, because we spent hours trying to do it, is probably laying the feathers down under a towel and ironing it first, because we probably would have saved ourselves a lot of time. As you, as you can see, unironed feathers. Yeah. Side on view. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It. Uh, Ends in a lot of burnt fingers, so probably iron them first, guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, stick them on a stick, wrap the leather around fairly tightly if possible, because otherwise it'll all come apart. Um, we just used a couple of stones on the bottom there. We've got a couple of extra bits under here. They're all pretty with, I don't know if you can really see them. It's just beads at the end. They're, they're, they're fun, just just for the prettiness. And then th when you stick that on the end, it actually covers up where you've stuck the leather. So it's not all messy. And then I've got um, a citrine stone up the top because, as you guys probably know, it's really good for cleansing, which is what this is for. You basically use it to smudge your incense around the room, spread it around. So I thought a citrine stone would be really good. And I've also got an ammonite one as well because that's really good for blocking negative energies um, as well as electronic waves and things like that for when you're trying to concentrate. I've just got a piece of amethyst on there along with just two beads. Just keep it simple. Because he got sick of trying to cut the leather to make the real beads fit. Because turns out most beads don't really fit on leather real well. So that was fun. But yeah. So hopefully you'll be seeing a bit more of Lachlan. Um, you should be seeing a lot more videos from me in the future now. Um, my daughter's just starting school tomorrow. Yay! So I should have more time to make a lot more videos. And hopefully stick to my promise of at least one video a week. Um, as always, if you have anything specific you'd like a video on... Uh, send me a message. I'll see what I can do. Possibly get this one in on it too. Um, I'll be having a few other guest visitors as well, but we'll start with Lachlan for now and see how we go. So, yeah, give it a go. They were really cheap in the end. I mean, the feathers were obviously free. The stick was free. Hot glue guns you can get from just about anywhere, which is all we use to stick it together. Um, like even the reject shop. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you could use super glue or something if you don't have the hot glue gun itself. Yeah, just be careful because you will stick your fingers together. So at least if it's hot glue, you can get it apart again, although it is more painful. Yeah, it will burn. It will burn a lot. Um, anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And yeah, give it a go.